What's good, y'all? It's this time of the week again. It is summoning week, or technically summoning release day, which is Tuesday when they usually announce the banners. So, I'm not gonna steal any of your time. We'll make it very, very simple. If you do not have Laurel, this is a must pull. You need to try to get her. No, many, no matter how many summons you have, you have to try to get her. Laurel is the star of this banner. Easily. If you don't have her, get her. It's it's that simple. There's there's no discussion. If you need an explanation, um I'll link a video uh in the pinned comment showing you how to use Laurel in every piece of content that was available at the time. And even in uh Gear Dungeon 1 you have a team where it features Laurel. So honestly, Laura is just broken. Laura is used in every team. Laura is used in every piece of content. And if you're wondering why, the answer is this talent right here. Additionally, Upon Death provides surrounding allies with the restoration of 50% of their rage cap upon death. But the game is the game, so death could also mean despawning, which is kind of unique to her. Because if you despawn the Cerberus, he doesn't make the puddle. So it's pretty much a programming mistake um, that turned her into one of the best units in the entire game and very, very crucial to beating certain pieces of content. So yeah, if you don't have her, get her. It is that simple. No discussion. Vienna. If you have the ability to go to pity and you have a Silas, and you're still missing Vyrna. Use that pity, but only if you have the ability to actually go to pity. If you are far away from pity, if you won't reach pity, or if you don't trust 15 axes, don't go for her. But keep in mind, if you have a Silas and you pull a Vyrna, Silas becomes twice as strong. If you want to know exactly how strong, if you want to see some data and whatnot, I'll also link another video in the pinned comment featuring the power of Vienna's spawn scale in regards to making Sila stronger. Then we have Baron. Baron is pretty good. Baron is one of those units that, even though they are epic, are still pretty relevant. And he is probably, at least with together with Isolde, the second best tank in the entire game from the epics. And yeah, what do you specifically need him for? You do find use for him in Gear Dungeon 2. You find a lot of use for him in Gear Raid 2. If you still haven't finished Gear Raid 2 and you're missing that one invulnerability unit, Baron, pick him up. And yeah, honestly, even in GVG you can use him. So yeah, Baron, Baron definitely isn't isn't bad he's a nice epic to have but i feel like most players already have him especially because he's not that rare and now aatrox aatrox has a couple usages and if you don't have him you might actually still want to pull a bit for him to get a copy from him and then use soul stones because you can use him in arena you can use him in gear dungeon one you can use him uh obviously in Gear Raid 1. And then in the codexes, specifically the Conqueror Codex, he is pretty good. The main reason is he's, he's basically your mini Cerberus. That is, that is what Aatrox is. Aatrox is a mini Cerberus. He has a unique kit. He can work in certain specific scenarios, but he's also not super game breaking. So you don't have to worry about it too much if you don't have him. It's not He's not comparable to either Vienna, Laurel. Uh, or but I guess you could put him on the same pedestal as a Baron. Now that leaves him, Kai. Uh, if people had to des uh, describe Kai with one word, it would probably be disappointment. And the reason for that is he has a nice sounding kit. It seems pretty nice. Overall, him being an AOE marksman that puts out traps and he can... Um, Make those traps implode. Those traps can trap units. Basically these worm snares right here, right? Mm, yeah. Kai is an AE marksman and that's already about it. But I will work on a Kai guide 
trying to min-max the hell out of him and to see if we can maybe unlock a bit of that true potential for him. Because he's been long forgotten and he looks epic, right? He, lo he looks like some badass dude that w that's just finished hunting a worm, which makes the name Worm Snare make sense, right? But yeah, uh, up until that video, <laughs> Kai, Kai isn't going to be the reason you put on this banner. So yeah, uh, as always, the same conclusions. If, you, if you're just looking for legendary heroes, legendary heroes, others, power source in this game still, go for the 2x banner, 2x chance. You can never go wrong with it. Same goes for divines, especially for divines. Use your divines on 2x banners because the chance goes from 6 to 12% and that is absolutely mental. And this has been it and we see each other on the Kai Guys.